I V M. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine. What would you be doing today had it not been for your day-to-day responsibilities of meeting work deadlines and making sure your family is financially secured? Would you have been a footballer, kicking the ball around on those grassy grounds? Or would you have been an artist, sitting near a window overlooking the hills as you paint away? Maybe you crave to be a photographer. But here you are, framing a picture of the life you wish you had. But this can still be a reality. करो पूरे अपने इरादे अपनों से किए सभी वादे एस बी आई लाइफ अपने लिए अपनों के लिए टू नो मोर अबाउट आर इंश्योरेंस प्लान वेल्थ क्रिएशन लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एस बी आई लाइफ डॉट को डॉट इन आई आर डी ए आई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर वन 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 हेलो माई प्रेशियस पीपल आई वी एम पॉडकास्ट इज टर्निंग सेवन कैन यू बिलीव इट I mean I can because I've been part of this amazing wonderful inspirational journey and from the empowering series to Monday mantras to the life manifesto today I can only tell you that these are some fantastic people with an amazing vision working together collaborating together and bringing you the best of podcasting ever so here's wishing IVM many many more years of podcasting and great work so here's wishing the amazing people at IVM many many years of podcasting and i want to see what the next 7 years bring you are the most valuable investment you will ever make hi i'm zarina punawala your leadership coach life coach and emotional intelligence coach you probably know me from the empowering series and this is my new show the life manifesto with zarina punawala I'm going to coach you to be the best version of yourselves. So get ready to create, attain and manifest the life you've always desired and make it your reality. You know there are so many things we were taught when we were younger, especially as girls, that we are now unlearning, unlearning with time and experiences. We're trying to shatter the glass ceiling. break stereotypes fight patriarchy and you know what the worst part about the entire ecosystem of a woman's life cycle is a woman's life cycle has been trained and taught not by men all that we are trying to unlearn we were mostly taught by other women in our lives not men Now as a grown woman I can tell you there were so many lessons I was taught by my mother or aunt or maybe even my grandmother and many many women in my life including teachers that I wish I really really wish I wasn't taught at all I had to eventually work on them long and hard just to unlearn all of those stereotypes and stigmas that were taught to me as lessons of womanhood and i still watch mothers women guardians teachers teaching some kind of nonsense on how girls should be and how a woman must conduct herself even today more so today considering that our world is becoming more regressive with the passing second now truth be told i have been such a nonconformist in society that several efforts of taming me and my free mind had no effect on me and that's why i was able to figure things out on my own and stand strong and stand up and speak my mind amongst friends family relatives judgmental people around me and i want to share what i have curated through my years of learning and unlearning so you can make it right by yourself no matter your gender your orientation when you raise little girls you can teach them what needs teaching and you need not teach them what does not and you can raise them to be warriors warriors who can survive any battle internally or externally so here are six things i wish i was taught as a little girl that talking about periods is okay i wish periods wasn't such a big deal in our society you need to acknowledge that it's your body and it's a natural cycle and women have to be a little more open about teaching their girls how to talk about periods talking to men about periods is okay asking your father or brother or your son or your husband or your friend any man for that matter any man 
to go ahead and bring you a pack of pads or tampons is absolutely okay and it should be considered so it should be considered okay by other women in your household you don't have to wrap a pack of pads in a newspaper it can be bright and green and it can just be bought home like anything else from the pharmacy like a strip of crocin for all i care and i wish advertisements showed red instead of blue in period ads because we aren't blue blooded are we it's okay to talk about periods the pain the bleeding and the rest that you need with it i wish i was taught how not to be embarrassed about the biological cycle my body will experience for at least 50 years of my life and i hope that there are more young girls like diane de menezes who was awarded the queen's young leaders award and the award was presented by the queen of england herself all for her impressive initiative red is the new green that's right she took up the initiative of talking and understanding periods as not a stigma in society anymore so if any woman is telling you do not discuss your periods i'm not saying go around harp about it but it's absolutely okay if you do you do not have to be ashamed embarrassed or shy about the natural cycle of your womanhood judgmental family and relatives they should be ignored all right they should be muted i wish someone taught me that naysayers and judgmental family including parents who are so worried about you know society and family views that they allow everyone to pass comments on you body shame you decide what you should be in your career and give you the sharma ji ka beta concept and comparison so you grow up with that you grow up comparing yourself even when you're unique they tell you what life choices you will make as a girl i think the only thing i was really taught was how to behave after marriage i was never taught about anything apart from that i was taught how i need to be and how a man may not really like me if i don't know how to cook which i do really well by the way but it's not something i learned i did so naturally because cooking is a survival skill i don't think it is gender based at all these judgmental family and relatives i wouldn't say friends so much but they too sometimes these are the people that were not making my confidence when i was younger they were breaking it they were breaking it every single time i socialized every single time i saw their faces every time an aunt commented on my pimply face or let me know how i should get in shape with dramatic expressions like oh my god what happened to your face so many pimples you should be doing this or that how did you put on so much weight you need to take care of your body who will marry you oh you're planning to study science i don't think so you'll be spending so much time studying science it's pointless you need to settle down i really wish i was taught that judgmental family and relatives were simply people who had nothing absolutely nothing better to do in their lives and i shouldn't take them seriously and especially women who would not allow their girls to just grow grow through their many hormonal phases and just say hey you you're beautiful you're amazing and you my darling will conquer the world ignore naysayers i really wish someone told me that and taught me that so every time you come across any of your family members who pass comments body shame you talk about your careers make you feel like shit you will ignore them that's what you do even if your parents want to listen to them and pressurize you it's fine but you my darling you've got to ignore them because your life is yours and no matter what anyone says it's yours to live while you start talking about periods as a normal person and avoid your judgmental family and friends i'm going to leave you be and come back with the second part of this episode next week so stay tuned and don't go anywhere so my precious people if you enjoy listening to the life manifesto and manifesting your life and achieving your dreams please go ahead and like and rate our podcast You can also click on the notification bell to get to know as soon as our latest episode drops. Do subscribe to the Life Manifesto. It's going to help us go a long way and also reach out to like-minded people who want to truly manifest their lives and live the best version of themselves. And in the meantime, do what you love and do it often. And if you don't like something, go right ahead and change it. The power is within you. 
Thank you for tuning in to The Life Manifesto with me Zarina. If you find the show useful, then please share it with your friends, family and co-workers. You never know. You may just help someone become the best version of themselves. And if you want to align your life with some signature master classes, certification courses and live sessions with me, go check out and download my app Life Manifesto with Zarina Punawala. Available on Play Store or Apple Store. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me, get in touch with me on my social media handles. I am at Zarina Punawala on Instagram and LinkedIn and at Zarina Speaks on Twitter. See you in the next episode. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Think Fast, Varun and Suchita discuss the rise of audio erotica and leadership dynamics at Indigo Airlines. Do you love board games? The Simplified Gang have a fun chat with Zain Memon, creator of the political strategy board game Shasun. On all things policy, the Takshashila folk analyze India's response to rare diseases on the occasion of Rare Diseases Day. On the Life Manifesto, Zarina explains the concepts of asexuality and aromanticism. And on the Musafir Stories Traveler, Tanisha Gouin explores West Bengal's hill station Mirik with Saif and Faiza. So, on a personal note, I wanted to let you all know that this week marks the 7th anniversary since I started IBM. I'm eternally grateful to the team we have here, especially Kavita Rajwade and Teja Sringarpure, who have been here since the beginning. They've seen the struggles, our eventual acquisition by Pratilipi, and our continued struggles to make podcasting a large and thriving part of the media industry. We have the best hosts in the world, and I have to say that I'm so glad and so grateful that they have chosen to work with us. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to you, the millions of folks who have heard or watched our content. All I can say is, you ain't seen nothing yet. I hope you join us as we continue this journey. In the meanwhile, do follow us on social media where IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform you're listening to. You can also check us out on YouTube. Get a list of all of our channels. You can go to ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube where you can go to all the channels. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life, Bank of Baroda, Max Life Insurance, India Water Portal, and HDFC Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. Namaste, this is Cyrus Brocha. I am part of the government cancel culture program to remove rubbish off all the different streams available. So what we have is all the collected rubbish we put together on our show. It's called Cyrus Says. It's on IVM podcast. You have to watch it and listen to it. It's on our app. It's on our website. It's on the YouTube channel. It's on Facebook. There are many different ways. Don't bother me and ask me how. Uh, you have to find out. We talk to different personalities. Many of them are known. Some are just people we meet downstairs and invite them up for chai. But the point is, it's fun and it's very therapeutic. So please join in and listen to Cyrus Says. 